Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make a very simple IoT based plant watering system using an ESP32 and capacitive soil moisture sensor. With this project, you can monitor the soil moisture level on your smartphone from anywhere in the world through internet. And if required, you can also control the water pump with Syndit Pro and Amazon Alexa app. Alexa, turn on garden pump. Okay. Alexa, turn off garden pump. Here you can see the circuit is very simple, anyone can make it within 5 minutes and during the video I have also explained how to create Alexa compatible custom device template in Syndic Pro. So without any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium which is the most trusted PCB designer software by all the big electronic companies. With Altium, you can easily search for components, compare the datasheet and it has a lot of useful features that will save you a lot of time while routing any complex PCB. Now Altium has come up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, you can also share your projects with your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. There are many tutorials available on LTM, so you can easily learn this software and use it to design professional PCBs. And you can download the LTM Designer free trial with LTM 365 from the link in the description. So please visit the link in the description, sign up for the Altium, it's a limited time offer so please hurry up. These are the required components. To make this project you need an ESP32, capacitive soil moisture sensor, one channel relay module and using this relay module we can either control a pump or solenoid. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit, the capacitive soil moisture sensor connected with the GPIO 34 and the control pin of the relay connected with the GPIO 25 and the pump is connected with the NO and common terminal of the relay. You can either use AC or DC pump or solenoid to water the plant. Before programming the ESP32, we have to quickly configure the Syndic Pro account. I will share the link of this page in the description. Now if you are new to Syndic Pro, just click on sign up, create an account. I already have an account, so I will just log in to my account. Now first, we have to create a device template for the soil moisture sensor. So I will just click on device template, then click on add device template. After that, I have to give a name, say moisture sensor. I will just copy the name in the description then I will select Alexa compatible and from this drop down I will select capacitive soil moisture sensor then I will click on next now we have to add the capability related to this device so I will select range I just have to drag and drop then I will drag and drop mode then I have to drag and drop the push notification now first I will click on configure for the range then here i will select the minimum value 0 maximum value 100 precision 1 then in the unit of measurement i will select percent as i want to see the moisture reading in percentage then here i have to give a range name say soil moisture and i don't want to control it i just want to view the moisture percentage so i will check this box non controllable now i will save it now i will configure the mode so i will click on configure button for the mode then here i will give the name soil type and again i don't want to control it i just want to view the soil type then in the first soil type i will select wet then i will create another soil type say dry after that i will click on save then again i will click on save Thus, we have created one device template for the capacitive soil moisture sensor. Now, I will click on device, select add device. First, I will create a switch for the pump. I am giving the name garden pump. You can give any other name as per the requirement. Device type will be switch. 
then I will click on next, 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 then I will save it. Again, I will go to device, click on add device. Here, I just want to monitor the soil moisture level. So I'm giving the name garden soil moisture. In the description, I will just copy paste it. Now in the device type, I will select the template we have created, moisture sensor. We have just created this template. So I will select this, then click on next, 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 then save it. Now if I go to device again, here you can see we have added two device first device will control the pump or solenoid and with the next device we can monitor the soil moisture level here you can see i have connected the moisture sensor with the esp32 and this is the d34 pin now let me connect it with my laptop these are the source codes for this project you can download these source codes from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article you can find the link in the description then you can download the codes from these buttons after downloading the codes first i will open this code get moisture value first you have to get the sensor reading for the wet and dry soil accordingly we will measure the percentage so first we have to upload this code to sp32 just to get the sensor reading for wet and dry soil now in the code here you can see the sensor pin is connected with the 34 and we are just printing the sensor value on the serial monitor after every two seconds so let me select the board and com port now hit the upload button after uploading the code we will open the serial monitor let me open the serial monitor select a broad rate 115200 now here you can see if the sensor is dry we are getting this reading now let me dip the sensor inside the dry soil it's neither dry or wet so in between so i am getting this reading now let me dip the sensor inside the water to get the reading if the sensor is wet so we received all the three value now i will disconnect the esp32 and copy this value to a notepad so if the sensor is dry we are getting this value then i will copy this so if the soil is neither dry or wet we are getting this then if the soil is wet we are getting this value we need to update these readings in the main sketch now let me close this and open the main sketch for this project using Arduino ID. In this code, I have used this version of the ESP32 and you have to install these libraries and all other dependencies. So just go to library manager, search for Syndic Pro. While installing the Syndic Pro, you have to install all these dependencies related to Syndic Pro. Now after installing all the library, here you can see there is also a header file so if i click here this is the header file if i go to the folder you have to keep this header file in the same folder now first we have to enter the syndic pro account credential so i will go to syndic pro then i will go to credential first i will copy the app key then i will paste it here next i will copy the app secret then paste it here now we have to enter the device id for the soil moisture so i will go to syndic pro account then go to device then i will copy the device id for the garden soil moisture i will just click here to copy it then here i will paste it now we have to enter the device id for controlling the pump again i will go to syndic pro account then i will copy the device id for the garden pump then paste it here after that i have to enter the wi-fi name then the wi-fi password then these are the gpio details relay pin is connected with the gpio 25 and the moisture sensor connected with the gpio 34 now we have to enter this calibration value for our sensor so i will open the notepad so if the soil is very dry this was our value i will just copy it paste it here then i will copy this value if the soil is neither dry or wet again paste it here now let me copy the last reading if the soil is very wet i will paste it here so here you can see if the soil is very dry this will be the value and we will get the notification at this value you can change the value so if this value breach you will get a notification and if the sensor unplugged or something happened what will be the reading so i am keeping is 3000 
now after updating these values we can directly upload this code to esp32 but before uploading the code let me tell you here you can see under handle soil moisture function you will find the esp32 is sending the sensor reading to Syndic pro after every 60 second here i am using free plan of the Syndic pro so if i try to send the sensor reading very frequently it will block the reading so i will recommend you to keep this value above 60 second in practical case but for demonstration purpose i am reducing this value to 10 second just to demonstrate the project i am reducing it you don't have to update this value now let me select the board do it esp32 dev kit and the com port now hit the upload button here you can see i have connected esp32 with the moisture reading sensor and the relay module now let me turn on the supply and here let me open the syndic pro app now you can monitor the reading soil moisture level three percent as the sensor is dry and we also get the push notification now let me dip the sensor inside the soil value should get updated after every 10 second now you are getting the rating 43 percent now let me dip the sensor inside the water now we are getting the reading 98 percent thus we can monitor the moisture reading all the time through internet now let me try to turn on the pump here you can see the pump turns on let me turn it off now let me connect it with the amazon alexa so i will open the amazon alexa then i will tap on this three dash icon select skills and games and here i have to search for syndric then tap on syndric pro then again tap on syndric pro to add this skill tap on enable to use it may ask you to log in to syndic pro account so let me enter the email id and password then tap on sign in then tap on next now we should see the devices from Syndic Pro in Amazon Alexa app. Here you can see two devices found. Again tap on next. These are the devices. I will just close it. Then I will tap on the device icon. Now to see the moisture reading, I will just refresh it. Now I will just tap on soil moisture to see the reading. And here you can see now the moisture reading is showing 100% and soil is wet. Now let me dip the sensor inside the soil we should get the updated reading within 10 seconds now the reading is 68 percent and we can also control the pump alexa turn on garden pump you can see the pump turns on alexa turn off garden pump okay so thus we can control the pump with amazon alexa and also with the syndric app so this is a very useful and simple project you can easily make it to monitor the garden soil moisture level and accordingly water the plant as per the requirement from anywhere in the world so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day